Charles Bronson has told Sky News he's begging the Justice Secretary to pardon him and release him from prison. Bronson's been behind bars for nearly 50 years, but his lawyer says he's reformed and is no longer a threat to society. To discuss Bronson's chances of being released, I'm joined by Chris Dorr QC, barrister uh, and author of Justice on Trial. Thanks so much for, for joining me. Um, for, first kind of question on this, what is the, the, the legal precedent um, or legal rulings that could lead him to being released? Is, is it quite a simple process or, or not? Well, it's simple in principle, um, but obviously in terms of carrying out that process, it's rather complicated because, he, as I understand it, he's had six previous parole applications refused. Um, the reason, the process in this case is that there will be a review by the parole board uh, of whether he is safe to be released. In other words, whether he continues to represent a danger to the public. Uh, if the parole board considers that he does continue to represent a danger to the public, he won't be released. If he's deemed to be safe to be released and no longer a danger to the public, he will be released. Now, the interesting thing here is that he's asked for a public hearing and there's a new law that's come in in relatively recent times, which allows parole hearings, particularly in high profile or sensitive and difficult cases, to be heard in public um, and, and for people to see and hear exactly what the parole board are being asked to do and why and hear all about the evidence, which will include psych psychiatric reports, uh, re reports about his behaviour in prison, whether he's continued to be violent, as he clearly was uh, on many occasions in prison in the past. Um, and it will be as a result of the review of all of that. And, and I personally think that it's a good thing if the public can see what happens and can see exactly what the parole board have to decide. Because at the moment, there's a lot of misinformation about parole. And I think it's a really good thing that the parole board hopefully will hear this in public and that we, the British public, can see exactly what goes on and, and can understand the decision that's made. And, and you mentioned there that the violence uh, in his time in prison, in prison in the past. Is that the only reason why he is still in jail at the moment, i.e. Uh, if they do establish that he's taken that uh, part of his behaviour away, would he likely be released? Is that the only reason why he's currently there? Yes, principally. I mean, he's serving a life sentence for uh, an attack on a... Uh, a teacher, I think, who was uh, who was teaching in a prison uh, that he was serving a sentence in uh, in 1999, uh, and he the minimum term that he was required to serve under that sentence was just three years. Uh, so, as you'll appreciate, it's 20 years, 23 years since he received that life sentence. Um, 20 years past the earliest date of release, and the only reason he's not been released on the previous six occasions is because the parole board decided he wasn't safe to be released. Uh, he's now 70 years of age. As I understand it, there have been five years without violence or incident in the prison. Uh, he's undergone all sorts of therapy and treatment and so on, and um, the parole board will have to look at all of those circumstances and decide, despite what he may have done in 1999 and despite what he may have done uh, in the period since, whether at this date, the date of the parole hearing in 2022, he's a risk to the public. If he is, he'll stay in prison until next time. And if he isn't, he'll be out on the streets. And so, Chris, everything you're talking about is, is relating to the parole board. This plea from uh, him directly with this voice note to Sky News and also from his, uh, his own lawyer seems directed more, uh, more targeted fashion at the Justice Secretary, Dominic Robb. Is it within his power to do anything here? It's, it's theoretically, I mean, there is the power of, of, of pardon, um, which is a sort of a, a prerogative of mercy, if you like, that is in the hands of uh, the Secretary of State and ultimately in the name of the Queen. Uh, frankly, that's crackers. He's not going to get a pardon uh, in a million years. Um, and I understand, you know, why he's asking for it. I understand why lawyers acting on his behalf are asking for it, but he's not going to be pardoned um, given the seriousness of the crime uh, for which he's serving his sentence and given the relatively recent history of violence on his part in prison. If he gets out, it will be because he's given parole, because he's not a danger to the public. Mm -hmm. Chris Dorp, uh, QC, thanks so much uh, for uh, joining us there. Much appreciated.